options can be further divided into two types the first is call option and the second is termed as a put option a call option is such a contract that gives its owner a right to purchase an underlying asset at a fixed price during a particular period of time now there is no restriction of any type on any class of asset to be traded under such type of contract but most commonly uh, traded options on different exchanges include options on common stocks and bonds of corporate firms let's see an example to understand how a call option works uh, there is a date april 1 on this date uh, an investor has a call to buy 100 shares of common stock of ibm on or before september 19 at a at an exercise price of 100 dollars per share now if the stock price on that particular date uh, september 19 is 130 dollars per shares then the buyer has a right to exercise this call at a exercise price of 100 dollars now this means that uh, the value of uh, this right given to the buyer under the call option is a uh, worth at 30 dollars per share on the date of expiry that means that the value of the call depend on the value of the underlying stock or the underlying asset uh, in our example the value of our call will be rising as there is a rise in the stock price of the ibm company if stock price is greater than the exercise price the call is termed as in money this means that it is now advantageous for the holder of the call to exercise it and if the stock price is less than the exercise price then the call is out of the money and it is worthless to exercise the right in this case the value of the call option is equal to 0 and the holder of the call will walk away from the uh, contract there is never a case of negative value for a call because in this case the there is a concept of then a limited liability so this call is a now is not treated as a limited liability instrument and the holder of this call loses uh, just up to the uh, initial amount he has invested in buying the call and if we draw the shape a uh, graphical graphically the value of the call we will see that it it looks like a hockey curve so uh, we will see that a hockey stick diagram can be there for a call option contract we have another example uh, let's see a uh, mr a holds a one year european call contract on a common stock of a corporate firm that is tix uh, this call can be exercised on the expiry date at 150 dollars per share and on the expiry date if the common stock of the company is trading at 200 dollars per share then buying at 150 dollars and selling instantly the share at 200 dollar each will yield a 50 dollar for the holder of the call as a profit but if the selling price of the share comes to 100 dollars at the date of expiry then though uh, mr a still holds the call option but he will throw it out he will walk away from the uh, contract as the value of the share of this company is equal to 0 so call value is equal to 0 in this particular case because the holder of the call is not exercising any right because there is no gain for him to exercise this right